one of the most evil female concentration camp guards of the Second World War, was Elisabeth Falkenrath. She would become very senior inside of different camps, including Auschwitz. But as the Allies and the Red Army rampaged through different Nazi-occupied lands, they came across the horrific concentration camps and what had happened inside of the barbed wire fences. Camps such as Bergen-Belsen demonstrated the true evils of the Nazi party in the SS, and around the camp were thousands of corpses which had been left to rot. Bergen-Belsen was where Anne Frank succumbed to typhus, and the sight was disgusting, and what the British liberators discovered would haunt them until the day they died. But Elizabeth Falkenrath would also be arrested there, and she would at the end of the war be condemned for her war crimes, and the fact she was involved in the slaughter of thousands of people. Join us today as we look at the ruthless execution of Elizabeth Falkenrath, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Born Elizabeth Mulau, she was the daughter of a forest worker, and Elizabeth had a rather large family, and a number of siblings. When she left school she worked for a brief period as a nanny, and also a cook, from 1933 to May 1938, and she then became a hairdresser. But Volkenrath had been involved in the Nazi youth groups, and she had for years been indoctrinated through this by Hitler's beliefs and ideas. But because of this she would then decide that she wanted to work for Hitler's cause, and because of this she wanted to become a concentration camp guard. She signed up for the SS retinue in October 1941, then she worked as an overseer inside of Ravensbrück concentration camp. This was an all-female concentration camp, which was where many women trained to become brutal and evil concentration camp guards, and following serving here for a while, women would then be moved on to different camps such as Auschwitz, where they would serve as horrific guards, having been schooled in brutality. In March 1942, Elizabeth Falkenrath applied to be transferred from Ravensbrück to Auschwitz, and this was the largest extermination and concentration camp, and it was planned for this to be one of the main sites of the slaughter of the inmates. Volkenrath served as a guard at Auschwitz inside of the prisoner's tailor shop, then in August 1942 she was sent to the women's camp at Auschwitz-Birkenau. This was the main extermination centre at the camp, and then she became ill as she caught typhus, and then spent some time in hospital. Following recovering, Volkenrath then took up a position in the parcel post at Birkenau, and she was each day overseeing around 30 prisoners who inspected the different packages and parcels that came into the camp. She ordered the prisoners to inspect everything that arrived, and many of these parcels had come from the Red Cross, and these goods would never be passed on to the prisoners. She would hand out bread whilst inside the camp, but she stayed at Birkenau until September 1944, when she was then sent back to Auschwitz I, and she became the camp leader of the women's area. She was promoted to the superintendent of the women's camp, would remain in this post until Auschwitz would be evacuated. While she was at Auschwitz, Elizabeth Falkenrath was accused of being involved in the execution and slaughter. At her trial, she was accused of being involved in the selection process. This was where prisoners would arrive to Auschwitz by train. They would then be selected to be either allowed inside the camp or not. Those who were healthy were permitted inside the camp to work, but those who were not or had any slight defect or disability would then be sent to the gas chambers, along with the elderly and children. Volkenrath was one of those guards who selected prisoners to be slaughtered as soon as they came into the camp, and she would deny that she did this. But she was also said to have been involved in helping load prisoners and victims onto trucks, that she would then take them to the gas chambers, where they were executed. But she claimed she did not know where these vehicles were going, but this was of course a lie. However, some of the most barbaric claims regarding Elizabeth Volkenrath involved her treatment of prisoners when she worked inside of the women's section of the camp. It was stated she would beat women freely, and she admitted she did slap women on the face while she worked as a guard, but claimed she never killed. One prisoner, Vera Fisher, stated she was once beaten so badly by Volkenrath that she was admitted into the hospital for three days. It's also believed that around 80 times she was seen striking female prisoners until they were knocked out cold, and she would use a rubber truncheon and a weapon to inflict pain and suffering, and sometimes she even beat prisoners to death. Helene Herkovitz stated in evidence against Volkenrath that she was questioned about a ring and a locket she was wearing, and after this she was forced to run behind a bicycle to their SS headquarters, where Elizabeth Volkenrath was. There she beat her with a rubber truncheon, and was placed in a cellar, and given bread and water every three days. She was then forced to work in the toilets where she caught typhus and almost died. The accusations continued, with Volkenrath accused of throwing an old woman down a flight of stairs near to the workshop, 
where the old lady then died immediately. Also, she took food and water away from prisoners, as well as other supplies, leaving them with very little to live on. Volkenrath also imposed making sport, where prisoners were forced to gruelingly take part in exercises in a form of group punishment, and sometimes these punishments were so severe that prisoners died from exhaustion. Volkenrath, in terms of her conduct, was also accused later of striking women so hard they would be knocked to the ground and would be out cold. It was stated that she once caught a girl who was sick taking some vegetables, and Volkenrath made her kneel down and hold the stolen goods above her head for four hours, until she could no longer hold her arms up. After this, she took her rubber truncheon to her and knocked the poor girl unconscious, and it was instructed that no one could help her until nightfall. She was known for being a brutal and savage guard who would happily beat prisoners unconscious and sometimes even to death, imposing a reign of terror onto the poor people inside of the camp. Following the evacuation of Auschwitz, Elizabeth Falkenrath was moved to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp on the 5th of February 1945 and she worked under the beast of Belsen, Josef Kramer, the commandant. She claimed that when she got there she caught typhus again and the state of the camp at this time was terrible. There was a huge amount of hunger, death and desperation, and on the 15th of April 1945, it was liberated by the British, who found around 10,000 corpses and around 60,000 prisoners, who were trying to survive with everything they had. Following this, a number of guards were also captured, and one of those was Falkenrath, and she was imprisoned inside of the Cella prison. But she was forced by the British to help clean up the camp, and to bury the bodies of victims in mass graves. When she was in prison, she was interrogated, and witnesses came forward to tell the British what sort of a brute Volkenrath was. Prisoners from Belsen and Auschwitz told of her violent beatings, and how she killed at a young age. She was just in her twenties at the time. She was then brought to trial on the 17th of September 1945, alongside many of the former guards of Bergen-Belsen, and Volkenrath was accused of crimes committed at Bergen-Belsen, and also at Auschwitz. She pled not guilty, and claimed she did not participate in the selections, but she merely watched them from the sides. She also admitted to slapping inmates and claimed she never killed. She also claimed she had been punished herself, as she had to live like the prisoners did, but Elizabeth Falkenrath would be sentenced to death for her crimes. On the 13th of December 1945 at Hamlin Prison, she was informed that her execution would take place. Days before, Pierpoint, the British executioner and his assistant, had met with her to work out her height, weight, and the drop needed to snap her neck, as she crashed through the trap door. Pierpoint then performed these executions on a simultaneous gallows, and the women would be executed first. The first to die was Elizabeth Falkenrath, and she was led out of her cell into the execution chamber, which was led up the stairs of the gallows. At 9.34am, she was placed over the trap door, in which Pierpoint had written a chalk X on the ground. A cap was placed over her head, as was a noose, and in seconds the death of Elizabeth Falkenrath occurred, with her neck snapping instantly. She was then declared dead, and her remains cremated. When she was executed, Elizabeth Falkenrath was just 26 years old, and when she worked in the concentration camps to begin with, she was just 22. She was someone who slaughtered dozens of prisoners with her bare hands, and through selections she was responsible for the executions of prisoners, who were killed as soon as they arrived at Auschwitz. She is remembered alongside women such as Irma Grazer as one of the most evil female concentration camp guards of the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.